We're at the Learning Commons homepage and we're going to do a quick tour of the EBSCOhost databases for nursing students. There's a link under Find Articles here and we're going to select All Databases and from here we'll pick all the appropriate databases for nursing, medical and health subjects by clicking these boxes. and we'll pick continue and now we're in the advanced search screen which is the one that we want if we toggle over here to the basic search screen there's just one box with no options so I'll always pick the advanced search screen and right off the bat we're going to limit to scholarly or peer-reviewed journals we'll talk about full text later and we'll select our publication dates to make it within the last five years. Then we'll make sure our nursing journals are the ones that are selected. We'll go up and pick source from this drop down menu and type in NURS star which assures us that everything that we get for results will have nursing, nurses, etc. somewhere within the title of the journal. Now we're ready to add some words to search. We might use pain management just as an example. And we'll keep the default here which is just a general keyword search and we've got thousands of results. So we're going to tighten this up and instead of a keyword we'll pick a subject search here. Subject searches give you more relevant results and you don't get as many miss hits. So with hundreds of results here we could add another keyword and narrow down our topic a little bit more if we wanted to. And We'll just do a, a keyword search for elderly here. And we've got a decent set to work with. So let's pick one of these and pretend that we're going to use it as one of our sources. We'll open it up and then you get to the screen that you basically pull all the information from this screen to create your citation. The name of the database is usually at the bottom of this page and the link to the article is over here underneath this permalink your PDF which is the full text is over here sometimes you'll just get an HTML view so if we go back to our results and we actually look at the the difference between the first result and the second result we open this one up you get information about the article but you actually don't get the article itself because this one was not full text you could request it through interlibrary loan so essentially if you fill out this form this goes to one of our librarians and we would order it from another library for you but just give yourself enough lead time because often this might take at least a day or so sometimes up to a week if you're pressed for time and you don't have time to wait for articles you could and actually should limit to full text and then you'd be assured that everything that you had um, was actually an article. 